guys, it's Kimmy here, and I want to start off this video by saying I'm officially a hardcore kid. Check me out, oh, what? And look, my bedroom matches my hair today, because they're both messy. <laughs> now, before everyone complains about my computer, it's a Mac, and it's loud, and I don't know what to do about it. A lot of you might suggest, you know, actually using my camera equipment, but that is just too logical. So, <laughs> yesterday I asked people on Tumblr and Twitter to send in questions, um, so I could do a question ask, answer video, so this is Ask Kimmy part 2. And look, my cat! My cat, my tattoo matches my shirt. Now please excuse me if I say any of your usernames wrong. I'm not very good at pronouncing things and talking. Nagin F asks, who are my favourite YouTubers or favourite YouTubers? Well, my all-time favourite YouTuber is probably FPS Russia. Um, the day he is just so cool and I think guns are really cool. And he would be my number one person to go to for a zombie apocalypse. I once proposed to him on Twitter, kind of. I said, would you do me the honour of being my zombie survival partner? And he did not respond. So, I think he's playing hard to get. My other favourite YouTubers would be Clinton Cave Music, Adrian Vanoyan, Max Mofo and Troy Sivan. All Aussies, all really awesome guys that I get along with really well. And I actually do really enjoy their content, so yeah. And they're all attractive. Can I just add that in? They're all oh, I can't say that about Troy because he's 17. So if you're under 17, under 18, you will find him attractive. He's a cute kid. I'm getting myself into an awkward situation. Huh. <laughs> so, um, I'm sorry, Troy, if you're watching this. <laughs> but the rest of them who are overage are all very attractive too. So, links below, ladies. Check them out, and they're also hilarious, especially Adrian. So men, check them out, straight men, gay men. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> Devon Chow TV asks, what is my favourite part of being a YouTuber? And my favourite part of being a YouTuber is you guys, as cheesy as it sounds, but I like reading your comments and having conversations with you guys on Twitter. And when you guys tell me that I make you smile or that I've helped out in some way after I, you know, told you, so, you guys about my suicide attempts and opened up to you and, and you guys told me that it helped, that's my favourite part. I also just realised, and I didn't do this on purpose, eyeliner, which is smudgin all over the place because I don't know how to make up, matches the shirt. Oh, guys, I'm coordinating and everything, I'm basically a beauty guru. Blubs13 asks, are there any more uh, tattoos in the future? And yes, there are going to be more tattoos in the future. Um, I've got four at the moment. Uno, dos, I don't know if you can see it. First, I think I've tucked this one up if you can see it. And then I have one on my back, which says love, which is written out in music symbols. And yeah. And before I get asked which one's my favourite tattoo, I can't choose. Maybe this one because it's like the most detailed, but the one on my back is a very close second runner up. Um, I don't know, all of them have different meanings and I like them all. Ridzy Sheckler asks, what would you do if your friends and family turned into zombies? I would kill them. I'm sorry. I have to, you are zombies. Oh. Look, if you love me and I turn into a zombie, you kill me and vice versa, you know? It's just a protocol. It's just what you're meant to do. <laughs> Please don't be offended. XX Live XX Live Laugh Love Oom. Um. XX Live Love Oh XX Live Love Fudge. XX Live Laugh Love Oh oh I don't know. I I don't uh, I can't speak. <laughs> Anyway, they ask, if you could meet any celebrity in the world, who would it be? Um, I would, beyond anyone in the world, I want to meet Mark Hoppus, Travis Barker, and Tom, Delo Tom DeLong. Um, they are my biggest inspirations ever, and I, wanna, I really want to meet them so they can sign my back, and I can get it tattooed on me, and I can just, you know, tell them that I love them so much. Um, and then the next person I would like to meet is Ollie Sykes from Bring Me The Horizon, um, just because... I would love to, you know, confess my undying love for him because I'm crazily obsessed with him. He's my, he's my desktop background right now, and um, it's painful to think that a guy like him would never find me attractive. Have you seen the girls he dates? Oh. Yeah, whoa, hey, asks, are there any future musical videos with Dave Days? And yes, there is going to be future music videos with Dave Days. We're still really close friends. We're still best mates. We just live in different countries now, so we haven't seen each other in a long time. Well, that's not true. I saw him like two, week, two, three weeks ago when he came down and visited me. And I'm going to go back to Los Angeles. And when I do, we're going to record more songs together. 
animal videos together and it's going to be really fun. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. Before I go, I want to tell you guys about this website called Opinion Outpost. Um, this is something Marcus Butler TV and Tyler Oakley has spoken about before and it's this really, really awesome website where basically you get rewarded or get money um, if you just answer questions and surveys and give out your opinions about things. It is no way in a scam and there's no catch to it. If there was, I wouldn't even be telling you guys about it. But they asked me to let you guys know about it and basically all you have to do is like this video, answer questions, give your opinions on things and you get free Amazon gift cards or cash or just a bunch of awesome things simply by signing up and answering questions. Anyway, I want to tell you guys about it because who does not like free stuff? Oh, free really cool stuff as well. Um, but yeah, you guys should definitely check it out. The links are in, down below. Um, if you want to win free stuff or possibly get some free cash, then yeah, just go answer a couple questions over there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for sending in your questions. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. And please keep smiling. Bye! <laughs>